What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Eddie Harvey from EddieLHarvey.com. Are you looking for Periscope marketing tips? If so, I'm going to share with you five Periscope marketing tips that will help you to grow your business. So let's get to it. Periscope marketing tip number one. Make sure you fill out your bio, guys. Periscope gives you a bio. You want to make sure you fill it out and make sure the information, in my opinion, that you're putting in your bio is congruent to who your target market is. Who are you serving? Who are you going to give value to? Make sure you make, make sure the information that people read is congruent to that. And then you can also put a domain in your bio. They're actually clickable now as well. So for instance, in my bio, I have my domain link into my blog. I would say use a blog or a capture page. All right. One of the two. And then make sure the capture page that you have in there, again, is congruent to whatever your target market is and the information you're giving, you're giving away. That's tip number one. Tip number two, make sure you have a catchy title. Make sure your title pops, guys. You want to stand out from other scopers and you also want to use hashtags and you want to use emojis. That will definitely help make your title stand out. OK, and then part of that now, what, what is pretty cool is going to make you stand out as well is that you can put a domain in your uh, title. Now, this domain won't be clickable, but this is domain number two. And you want to make sure this is a generic domain. So something like scope with Tim or or uh, scope tips with Tanya, whatever it may be, guys, you want to make sure that the domain is generic. Why? Because let's just say you have different offers you're marketing for your business. And let's say you're scoping on one offer one day, another offer another day, and you might have different capture pages. Well, what you can do is that, you know, you can go and change whatever offer you're having and link it to that capture page day one, day two, whatever it may be. You get what I'm saying? So that's what you want to do. That's tip number two. Tip number three, guys, engage with your audience. Make sure that you are locking in with your audience. When people ask questions, answer your questions. When you get new people that come in your scope, introduce yourself to them and, and say, say the name. People love hearing the name. Hey, welcome to the scope, Tim12345. Welcome, Angie679. You want to make sure that you, uh, you know, welcome them by name and, and engage with them and let them know who you are and what your scope is about and get back uh, to the topic at hand. Make sure you stand on task with your content and make sure you're getting that value out there. OK, and also let people know, hey, if, if you got value out of this, give me some hearts, you know, whatever it may be, guys, make sure you're engaging with them. All right. Which leads to that was what tip number what was that three tip number four, guys, have a call to action. Let your uh, scope people who are view, view, viewing your scope, let them know what you want them to do. Hey, guys, if you're on the scope, do me a favor. Go ahead and share it. If you got value from this, go ahead and share the scope. And that's good for your replay followers as well. Uh, your, your, your replay viewers, guys, let them know, you know, give me some hearts. If you're getting value from this, you know, swipe up, down, left, right, whatever to share it. Let people know what you want them to do. Have a call to action to your capture page, whatever it may be. Hey guys, if you want to get more information, if you like this, visit blah, 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 dot com is also in the title. Make sure you go there to get more information and get a free trainer, whatever you're giving out guys. So make sure that you have a call to action in all your scopes. And the fifth thing, last but not least, guys, you want to make sure that you have auto save on on all your scopes make sure your auto save is on and make sure that um that once you auto save that scope now you're sharing that scope you want to share it on facebook you want to share it on twitter periscope has that those buttons now you can copy it and then share it to your fan page or to your uh your your main tw uh twitter page whatever uh excuse me your main facebook page whatever it may be and also guys you want to make sure you upload this content to youtube you can also upload it to catch me with a k catchme.com that's where you can actually put your scope there and now your scopes will save because anything you know anything about scopes they expire within 24 hours catchme.com allows you to go back and view your scopes i haven't been using it but i'm about to start using it and now you if any questions you miss you can go back and answer those questions and create content around it or you can you know tell people to go there to see your past scopes whatever it may be all right guys so there you go you have five periscope marketing tips to help you go out there and grow your business i hope you guys got value from this all right uh, and guys, at the same time, if you did, and if you want to find out more about Periscope Marketing, get Periscope Marketing A to Z, click the link below, guys. There is a phenomenal, awesome training. Actually, the information I'm sharing with you, these are tips I got from that training from a Periscope Marketer who's generating three to five leads per scope. So if you want to do that, grow your Periscope Marketing business and have it uber professional without being all super duper techie, you can do it. So click the link below. And uh, go ahead and get that free training. But other than that, guys, I appreciate you watching. Once again, hope you got value, guys. Take care and have a great day.